Hello and welcome to Spain. So I am out here for four days, come back Thursday night, it's now Monday, and I'm out here with today's Golfer magazine. I've worked with them for about seven or eight years, doing, uh, providing, or helping them provide, I should say, not doing it myself, helping them with their instructional content. We are out here for four days to shoot some photos, to go into some supplements, which are gonna come out in the forthcoming issues. I believe July is gonna be the first one, and then two more after that. So we're actually working at a golf club called La Reserve Sosa Grande. We've already been there today, as you've seen some of the videos. It is absolutely phenomenal. Such a nice golf course. I've only seen the front nine, but some of the holes, some of the bunkers and the way it's shaped and that just looks phenomenal. And the greens are absolutely lightning. Uh, it's a really, really nice course to work out. We just got to the hotel, uh, Almanara Hotel, which is right next to it. It's actually very close to, right next to Valderrama. Valderrama is kind of between this hotel and the course. So there's about three or four courses around here, which are all really close and they all look fantastic. Um, so I thought I would just do a slightly different video. I thought I'd bring you along on this journey. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get to film because I am out here working uh, and it is going to be long days, but I might be able to get some videos and photos uh, and just let you know kind of what we're doing in these four days. thought it might be quite interesting, but it is a very, very different type of video for me. Normally they're instructional videos. So let me know what you think. Would you like to see more of these videos or would you rather me to stick to just what I was doing before? Uh, but let me know in the comments box, be interested to get your thoughts. So it's been a long day, we're going to get some food now, we're going to get some sleep because we need to be back at the course for about 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow to film some, sorry, to take some more photos. Uh, and yeah, so I'll bring you along with it and show you some videos on the way. Right, so it is day two here in Spain. Uh, pretty early start this morning, was up met the guys at about half past six, got to the course pretty early. Managed to do quite a bit of instruction, which is great, managed to get a lot of the stuff done we needed to do. We also managed to get a couple of videos done, so really, really good morning. Steve Astle has flown out this morning. He's now over at Sota Grande with the guys from the magazine. They're going to do some Aceve stuff, which means I've got the afternoon off. We are staying at the Almanera Hotel. They have a golf course. I had to play it, so I'm just going to do nine holes. Uh, this is the golf course. It looks phenomenal, as do all the golf courses around here. So I'm just going to do nine holes. I'm just on my own. I've got a buggy. It's just sure about to fly around. Um, I could have sat by the pool, I could have done a bit of work, but I thought as I was out in this beautiful weather I really should take advantage and play some golf. So looking forward to playing this course, I'll try and get some shots on camera for you so you can see uh, and let's, fingers crossed, let's hope I play well. Okay, so just finished the nine holes. Really, really good, enjoyed it. Uh, really some, some interesting holes there. Some, some really good par threes, some really interesting par fours around water, over water. Uh, really, really interesting. So uh, yeah, it was good. Glad to get good on the course. I played okay, had some good shots, hit some ropey shots. Uh, but to be expected, I've, uh, I'm gonna blame it on the lack of golf and the long days that I've had last, uh, last two days. Not a lot of sleep, a lot of travel, a lot of work, so I'm gonna blame that. Um, so I'm going to chill out now, I'm going to head back to the hotel, I'm going to wait for the guys to come back from the golf course where they've been filming. We're going to have some food uh, ready for day three because we're going to be back at the course tomorrow morning about half past six to get some more content filmed. So yeah, back to the hotel, bit of food, sleep, ready for day three. How far do you reckon this one is? 80 feet? 
Can I fall Jack in the pussy? Oh, he's ripped it. Carry on. He's ripped it. Oh, is it a great put? Is it? Oh, is it a great put? What a put! What a put! You got it. Right, so it is day three on the shoot. Uh, it is now five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm pretty much done for the day. So we were out early doors at about half seven again, creating the content for the short game instructions. That's all the kind of chipping, the putting, the bunker play, lob shots, all that kind of stuff. We came back, then we did some videos. That's gonna go on the Today's Golf website. So I've kind of done for the day. Um, I say it's about five o'clock now. I've got a bit of time free. Steve is out on the course with the guys doing his photos. So I am gonna hit a few balls, do a little bit of practice because there is this fantastic practice area, which is all set out. It looks really, really nice. The range looks great. So I'm gonna do a little bit of practice. I might even tell you what I'm working on in my golf. My goal swing tendencies have been pretty similar for a while now. I tend to swing the club too much to the right of my target. If my pack gets too much to the right, I hit a lot of draws, but they can easily turn into pushes. They can easily turn into hooks. So ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my path more neutral. I'm actually trying to get it left. I'd love to be able to play a fade on the golf course. Not quite there yet. So I'm trying to get my path more left, but there's things which proceed that which cause my club path to be to the right. So, I've always had the tendency to get the golf club too much inside my hand in the takeaway. The club shaft gets very, very flat. My reaction to that is to get the club steepening as it gets towards the top. I end up being very much across the line in transition. So the club shaft points out to the right of the target. What I then do is as I begin down, I'm quite steep. And as I approach the ball, my hand path gets a little bit too far outward. The club drops behind and I get my path way, way out to the right. The result of this is I have to flick with the hands to get it back to target. So that's what I tend to do naturally. So what I'm actually working on is a feeling of trying to keep the club head more outside my hands in the takeaway, which I'm kind of getting a bit closer to. I'm trying to get the club shaft to be a little steeper halfway back. So I can then feel like I can move it into a position at the top, which is a little bit more neutral. Feels like it's more laid off to me. And then when I'm in that position, I'm in a much, much, I've got greater chance of just turning and delivering the club more in front of me, get my hands a little lower at impact and actually move my path more left. So as a feel, my goal thing feels like it's here, very, very steep, then it goes laid off. Then as I start down, I move my hands more in and tip the club more out. It's never gonna look like that, but that's what I'm trying to feel. And put me in this environment on a range, I can kind of get it. 
a little bit more difficult on the course. Uh, as you see, saw, I played yesterday, found it a little bit more difficult to execute on the course. But actually, when I put myself on the range, I feel a little bit that I can get a lot closer to those, those movements. So that's steeper backswing. That is kind of, I think quite strike out as well, but that's the ball flight I'm after. So that's what I'm working on my golfing, trying to improve my takeaway. And the reason I improve my takeaway, it's all got a link. Okay, so whatever you're doing, it has to have a reason. It links to my backswing, top of my backswing, downswing, club path, and shot dispersion. I'll show you a few more swings. Let's see if we can get it a little closer. Right, so it is day four here in Spain. I'm at the golf club again, La Reserve for Sota Grande. Came in with the guys, they're out on the course at the moment, just finishing up the stuff that they need to do with Steve. He's got a few little pieces he needs to get done. Luckily, I managed to get everything I needed done yesterday. So I've done some work in bar this morning, did a bit of editing. Uh, and as you see, I've just hit a few golf balls on the range. So it's been a pretty good day. Um, it's about lunchtime now. The guys are gonna come back in off the course because they should be finished anytime soon. We are then gonna go back to the hotel, pack our stuff and head back to the airport. So hopefully it's been a bit of an interesting video. It's certainly been a different video for me, um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said at the start, let me know in the comments box what you thought. Did you like it? Would you rather me stick to what I normally do? I uh, hope you liked it. I had a great time here in Spain. Weather's fantastic. This course has been absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. What a great place to come and do some work. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, and if you did, I will certainly do some more in the future. Thanks for watching.